Street. Let's talk about this new show on HGTV. Well, basically the premise, I liquidate estates, I buy and sell antiques and consignment items, so they're following me around, doing that, and finding out what treasures are worth. So tell us, you're from Northville. How did you all get started in all of this? I've been around antiques my entire life, and I decided one day I figured out that I had so much information about a lot of things that being a liquidator made sense. And as for the show, you just got an email out of the blue. <laughs> I did. It just kind of fell in my lap, and next thing you know, I'm, I'm on TV. That's so neat. And you have a store. Tell us about the store. I do. It's located in Northville. It's called Repurpose. We specialize in consignment pieces, antiques, designer resale, and repurposed items. And the show started airing back in early January, and so far you basically go to people's houses, and so far it's all taken place around Metro Detroit. Yes, we've, all, we've been in Michigan, all over Metro Detroit. That's really neat. Show us some of what you have here. Okay, I brought a couple things from the store. These are actually repurposed items. This is a doorknob that's been repurposed to a stopper which oh, is nice. nice. And these are actually vintage typewriter keys. Wow. Oh, wow. And it says repurpose. Mm -hmm. This is my really personal lovely. bracelet. So. <laughs> but just a couple examples of things that we carry in the store. There's something for everyone from $5 to $5,000. It's a fun place. So what's so. your suggestion to people who might have a, amassed a lot of stuff over the years inside their houses? There's various ways to liquidate it. Um, I'm doing a lot of people downsizing or just liquidating things that they've accumulated over the years. So you can start off by just cleaning out your closet. What are some things you haven't worn in a while? Look around your house. I think the average American has about $10,000 of stuff just lying around that they're not using. So I call that just, you know, cash in their closet or just piles of cash lying around. So that's the way to start. Start piling it up, putting it together. If there's things that you've maybe inherited that you don't know what they're worth, start researching. Call your local antique shop. Call me, whoever, <laughs> and get an expert opinion. You can sell on Craigslist. You can sell on eBay. There's tons of consignment stores around Metro Detroit as well. What about if you're going to an estate sale? What kind of advice do you have? If you're going to an estate sale, a lot of companies feature and showcase their items online nowadays. It's a lot different than what it used to be. So you can go online, find out what's there. You can see the actual items. You can make calls. You can find out measurements a lot of times. If you're going on the first day, prepare to stand in line because they're getting pop more and more popular. And when you're bargaining, ask for the best price. If it's something that you absolutely have to have, ask them if they'll take a bid. Chances are they'll work with you. And what's the response been to the show so far? So far, it's been really, really positive. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of hard work, mm -hmm. but it's been fantastic. And I bet uh, your business is probably booming because people see you and your store on the show. It's picking up. The momentum's picking up. I think a lot of people are starting to appreciate, with all the shows that are about this premise, they're starting to appreciate um, estate sales and buying vintage. It's the ultimate way of being green, so I think it's a great concept. Michigan success yeah, story. We love perfect. it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me.